guys, happy Thursday. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show where we are having confessions and conversations about everyday life and finances. I'm not my mom, but... <laughs> You're not your mom? But, I think um, they kind of figured that out. Her name is Yamichu Jojo Wado, and she's the only live past currency specialist. So what better place to be than here with her? Thank you, Rosemont. As you can see, we are... We're running a little. Yeah, so it's going to be a fun morning. Good so, morning, Kimberly. Rosie is navigating the show till um, I get where I need to be. So, I hope you guys are ready for this Thursday morning. I hope you're ready to get it started. Um, because we are. Good morning, Miss Margaret. Well, Ro Rosie is the co is the host until I get to where I need to be. So good you can tell it's Margaret. And Rosie doesn't feel good today. She has a sore throat and um, a runny nose. They can't hear you. A sore throat and a runny nose. Good morning, Kimberly. Kimberly. But it didn't stop her from being cute today, did it, Rosie? No. Nothing stops being cute. All right. So do you know how to add, Lynn? Um, it should pop this red one. in just a second, so you don't have to try to hit it. Okay. Okay. You got it. Yeah. Good morning, cousin Carl. I can see kind of sort of out the corner. Good morning, guys. Turn her up right there. Good morning. Y'all are a trip, but you you are being mean, making that baby come on here and talking. Her so, her throat is all sore and stuff. Whatever. Shoot. The show must go on. <laughs> I know, but she sounds so cute and pitiful. Oh, uh, please, honey. <laughs> don't make her milk if everything is worth Won't you do it, Rosie? <laughs> Hey, good morning, guys. Even though this community is climbing, climbing good up. Good morning, Charlie. <laughs> yes, we out here. It's a, it's a whole crew of us out here. I see some new people joining in too out here on the walk every morning. I guess it's they fall. Everybody to trying to. On too, huh? Yeah, they trying to get it on while it's not too hot. That's what that is. That's good true. morning. I ain't even mad at him. Yep. All right, guys. Well, it is Thankful Thursday, right? Thankful Thursday. So we're super excited. Anything out there in the news caught your eye yesterday? Because you know how I am. I'm not paying attention to what's going on out there because I really no, don't. I need some lotion. Everybody who is, you know, starting to invest in anything, all they're talking about is buy Nike. Nike is on sale. One lady I follow, and she was like, Look, and she walked everybody through how to use her stash where she bought her Nike stock. Uh -huh. And um, so, other than that, yeah, ain't nothing else going on in these. Let me see anything else going on in these streets, Rosie, that I don't know about. So, guy, okay, so let me say this people need to pay attention. Don't just, how should I say this the nice way? Do your research Do first. Don't just jump in doing. just because. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't just jump in because everybody else is jumping in. Pay attention. Run the numbers. Most of the people are jumping in because somebody else said, oh, yeah, this is a good time. And it mm -hmm. may be a good time. But what I'm saying is make sure you run the numbers. Make sure you know the difference between price and value. Just like with the gas, the price of gasoline changes on a regular. But Daily, still, morning and evening basis. Exactly. But it's still 87, 89, 93. The value mm. of it remains the same. The price is what changes. So you have to make sure that you're getting it for a good price. Pay attention, people. That's why you need to get in class instead of just copying what everybody else does. That's all I'm saying. Pay attention and know what you're doing. 
right? Right. Because people will tell you anything, and we're just like, what do you call it? Monkey see, monkey do. When you see somebody else doing something, you you say, well, well so and so said she was going to do it, but doggone it, I'm going to go do it. Grow up. We're not in high school. Well, Rosie in high school, right? <laughs> But the rest of us, we are not in high school anymore. Guys, get the information that you need to make informed decisions and stop just jumping on the train because everybody else is jumping on it at the same time. All right, that rant is over. As I try to regain my breath as I climb this hill, well, walk up this hill, I'm not climbing. Y'all know better than that. So- It feels like it though. If, if oh, I make you feel like it. <laughs> You know that hill make you feel. You know it make you feel like you're gonna need an oxygen tent in a Girl, minute. Uh, well, it's coming. All right, I'm getting better though. I am getting better. But guys, the quote for this morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. The quote this morning is: Some people are afraid of what they might find if they try to analyze themselves too much. But you have to crawl into your wounds to discover where your fears are. Once the bleeding stops, the cleansing can begin. Woo we can end the show on that note. Yes. I think I just stepped on somebody's toes and they didn't even know they, they, they didn't even know they were hurt. Right? Let me read that one more time. Some people are afraid of what they might find if they try to analyze themselves too much. But you have to crawl into your wounds to discover where your fears are. Once the bleeding stops, the cleansing mm. can begin. Sure. All right, somebody? So hence the reason for my topic this morning. Oh Lord, I sound like, I sound like the preacher at the church. Mm. If you'll turn with me. Right? <laughs> so it's, You got your Bible, ready? <laughs> right, right. It's stop the bleed. How to get unstuck. How you going to get unstuck in your finances? And, and, and it's truth be told, good morning. Oh, that was a big dog. I was sliding all the way to the right. Anyway, <laughs> truth be told, if you think about it, guys, many of us, you get in the, we get into the situation or you get in you think about yourself and your finances you get into the situation in your finances and it feels like your account is just bleeding and what i mean by that we get our, ourselves into these situations and tell joe share her story i have my same story because i tell you this once i see a, a, a fee or something on my account Today, you know your girl goes crazy and starts calling the credit union and say, hey, what's the problem, right? Mm -hmm. Nine times out of 10, it's their mistake, right? But what I need you to think about, guys, that bleeding that's happening in our bank accounts, those overdraft fees, the bleeding that's happening because now we're trying to make ends meet and we're starting to utilize credit cards excessively. I was reading an article the other day and the person was talking about how they had to pay off $98,000 worth of credit card debt. And someone else commented on the article, how in the world can a person have $98,000 worth of credit card debt? And another young lady, she um, commented on the post and she said, well, it's easy because I have $108,000 worth of credit card debt. And she went on to share her story about the fact that she um, was going through some tough times in her, in her life. And she, she was living with a boyfriend and they separated. So they went from two incomes to one income, right? You, you can decide where your, where your story fits in with hers. But she was sharing that she had to start living on her credit cards now because she was used to a certain lifestyle, okay? She was used to a certain level of living that she didn't want to give up so she decided to now use the credit cards to make ends meet. So don't get me wrong. And I understand that there are situations and circumstances that happen in which people have to resort to enemies necessary 
to put food on the table, to make sure that you keep your house, to make sure that you have, you know, your basic necessities met, right? <laughs> to make sure your necessities are met. And we have to go through these things in life. But the thing is, you can stop the bleed. You don't continue to go down that cycle. That's what I'm trying to say, right? So how do you get unstuck? The first thing that you have to do, you must do, and if someone will write this down if you're not driving, I know a lot of you are commuting from point A to point B, dropping the kids at school and, and things of that nature. But the first thing is that you have to recognize what is it that you know? And we've talked about this before. For us as individuals, what we know is about the size of our fist. Okay? What we know that we don't know is our immediate space around us. And what we don't know that we don't know is the entire room that is around, that surrounds us. See, there's a lot of information out there, guys, that we do not know. And the more that you read, the more that you grow, the more that you learn, the more that you know that you don't know everything, right? So you have to figure out, first and foremost, becoming aware of that fact. That, hey, no, I don't know everything. But what I do know, right, what I do know is that I have to stop this bleed when it comes to my finances, Okay, Kim. <laughs> Kim says she'll eat ramen noodles before she run up her credit cards. See, Kim, we're on a di different people are on different levels. And some people are not at that level yet because they have not come to the conclusion that their finances are a priority for them. Okay? They have not come to the conclusion that it's not about all this other stuff. Okay? So we have to recognize and identify. Be keenly aware of where you are see awareness is key for many of us in order if we want to level up if we want to get to our next we have to know exactly where we are and if you continue to allow that slow leak that slow bleed to occur in your finances before you know it you'll be in a, a situation as, as if you're drowning Okay, so we cannot solve problems with the same thinking that we've always used, guys. That's what I'm trying to get to this morning. You cannot solve those problems with the same thinking you've always used. So you always use your go-to to go to the credit card. That's always your go-to, right? So you have to figure out there are more possibilities, there are more choices, there are more opportunities. But until you become aware of the fact that those opportunities exist, you continue to bleed. You'll continue to bleed. And it's a tough reality. And you're like, well, dang, you hit me with this this early in the morning. But you got to get it at some point, right? We got to have these courageous conversations and com confessions and conversations at some point. Because it's time out for us living in this poverty cycle. It's time out for us doing the things that we've always done, thinking something different is going to happen. It's How important is it to you? That's the question. That becomes the question. How important is your sanity to you? How important is the fact that you cannot come out of this to you? See, the thing I'm going to share with you is you'll come and you'll say, well, Lynn, I tried everything. I have tried everything to get out of this situation. And my response is, no, you have not. Because if you had tried everything, right, you would be in a different situation. So you have not tried everything. Maybe you've tried two, three, five things that you know to try. But you have not tried everything. So the response is, I've tried everything that I know, right? But you have to recognize and understand that there are so many other things out there that you are not aware of. There are so many other opportunities out there that you can now take advantage of, right, that are going to stop the bleed. So if you're ready to have a conversation, guys, bit.ly slash talk to Lynn, capital L, please. I'll schedule some time to sit down with you, and that's free. Because there's no reason for us to be what we call ourselves the, the holy people, 
right? No, no reason for us to be the chosen. No reason for us to be broke kings and queens. That's what I'm talking about. How is it that we call ourselves kings and queens and we don't even own the kings to, keys to our own kingdom, right? How is it? How dare you? So what are the things that we need to do, guys? You got to know and start to recognize that you don't know everything and look out for more, be on the lookout for more opportunities. The opportunities are what are going to help you to get to your next. See, that's how you stop the bleed. Okay? You haven't tried everything. Right? So there are other things that you know. You say, well, Leah, if I haven't tried everything, then what is it? What is it that I can do? Well, first and foremost, you can start by you got everything at your fingertips so you have a smartphone and obviously you do you have a smartphone or a laptop or an ipad or something because you're able to watch this so you start and i know you're probably tired of hearing this but my people perish for the lack of knowledge my people perish for the lack of implementation of the knowledge that they get because the research tells us that no matter what, 70% of people are not going to do anything differently. So look at it. 70% of you who watch this video are merely watching the video because you think it's something else for you to do. Are you trying to be nosy? Let, let me go over here and see what these two little girls got going on over here. That's what you're probably saying to yourself. 70% of you will do nothing. And it's time out, guys, that 70% of you who will do absolutely nothing, then the poverty cycle will continue to be yours. It's as simple as that. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm trying to help you get out of your mess. 30% of people will do something, okay? So which percentage of those people are you? Are you going to take the time and say, well, I need to start doing some research. I need to start at least watching somebody's videos. Even if it's not 100% the whole truth, at least you get started. And then you start introducing yourself to other ideas, other ways of doing things. You start reading more books and you get ideas. Maybe everything in that book is not for you, but maybe there's two or three things that you can now take away. See, guys, there's things that we can do. But many of us are too doggone lazy. Can I just say that? And I can say that to you because as a kid, <laughs> my dad used to call me Lazy Lily, okay? And I used to wouldn't tell anybody that. But that was my name as a kid because I didn't want to do anything. This girl right Could've here didn't want to do anything. I was like, Rosie, that's what you're saying. It's okay. It's okay, Rosie. But you shall. <laughs> you shall be great. It's Can't okay. You can do that now while you're small. Yeah, be beautiful, Rosie. She said, have a good day. <laughs> Guys, Bye. you have to get wiser and recognize that there are hundreds of things that you can do. But decide which of those 100 things you are actually you're going to take action you. on. So you say, well, Lynn, how do I, how do, I do this? Right? How do I now do this? How do I get to a point that I have to now move to my next. How do I get to the point that I can stop this bleed? You need a water bottle? No. Yeah, she ain't had no water. No, she don't need that's a water bottle, water. JoJo. <laughs> yes, she, had, she need that water. Get it. Because that's why you, you need to stay hydrated. Drink the water. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm glad. You appreciate you. Love you. And I mean, drink it, not stick it in your boot bag and just carry it around and then pull it out before you okay. see me again. Let me see you take a sip of it for good measure. I'm sorry, <laughs> carry on, me. No, that's good. We got to let you. That's okay. I'm about to steal that because we're about to hydrate some finances over here. All right? There you go. So, so how do we get hydrated? Just like she was telling her baby, you're dehydrated. You need to drink some water. So how do you get hydrated in your finances? Good morning. Mm -hmm. First of all, the first thing that you must do is actually know where you are. Take a good, good long look and know where you are. Where are you in your financial structure? What is your net worth? What are your assets? What are your liabilities? What do you have going on? How can you stop the bleed? You can't stop anything if you don't know. If you know I'm bleeding somewhere, but I don't know where the blood's coming from. I just see blood everywhere. 
How can you do anything about it if you cannot find the opening? Where's the problem? Right? So you got to locate the problem, and you locate the problem by actually putting all those numbers down on paper. You locate the problem, right? Yeah, it's the B word. She's like, oh, Lord, she cussed me out. She called me a B. Yeah, guys, you got to get a budget. <laughs> sorry about that, but not sorry. Because you got to know what's coming in, and you got to know what's going out, and you got to know what you owe. And many of us, we don't have a clue. We know we got to pay this bill every month. But if I ask you, what's the interest rate on that, what you're paying? If I ask you, what is it, what's the, um, how long before you pay that thing off, right? How much an extra interest are you paying on that thing because you ain't paying attention to it? See, guys, you got to know where you are so you can stop the bleed. So first of all, once you get that set up, I have a free budget toolkit for that too. Go on my webpage, sign up. You can get that for free. It gives you all the information on how to get started, what's the process that you go through. You don't have to use mine. There's tons of them out there. But what matters is that you do it. Make yourself aware of the fact that you don't know that what you don't know. And then once you get that taken care of, put down what you do know. Then you need to schedule out some time for yourself and say, hey, I need to make sure that I'm intentional in this process. So do what you need to do, whether it's it physically buy an agenda and write it down the old school way or set a notification on your phone, whatever it is, mark that out as your time to pay attention to your finances. And not only marking out is generic time to take care of my finances, but mark it out and say, these are the five things. These are the 10 things. Whatever the number is for you, you decide. Because I can't decide that for you. You have to prioritize what's most important for you. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, once you get started, once you start focusing on it, you'll see things start to switch in the right direction. And Charlene says, you'll be amazed if you do the budget sheet. You know where everything goes, right? Because now you're looking at it, you're paying attention to it. And it's simple, guys, but many of us make it more complex than that. It's simple. Managing your money is a simple thing, but many of us, we're afraid of looking at the problem that we've caused ourselves now I'm not talking about those of you who've had health issues you know I'm not talking about that type of situation but I'm talking about the things that we've done to ourselves the decisions that you've made result in the presence that you have today what decisions did you make think about it and whether you made a decision or not, hello, somebody, you made a decision, right? You That's made right. that decision to do whatever it is. But guys, this is the what's most important. The most important thing is once you set those notifications, write down those five or ten things that you plan to do, What's most important is that you not only take action, but you continue to educate yourself. Because the, the number one goal is to get out of the current hole that you've dug for yourself. So that's priority number one. Then once you get yourself out of the hole, then you come back and we can have another conversation about investing. Where is it that you need to be investing? But while you're down in that hole, you can't really just see your way out. Get out of the hole first. That's priority number one. Get out of the hole first. Then once you get out of the hole, then we can start taking some steps in that direction toward investing. Because what good does it do you? You got to think about the ROI for you. The banks are thinking about the ROI for them. Right? The credit card companies are thinking about the ROI for them. And if you're not thinking about the ROI, ROI is your return 
on your investment. Return on investment. If you're not thinking about your ROI, no one else is. How about those apples? And I say this over and over and over. Nobody cares about your money more than you do, except your kids, guys. Do you really? <laughs> okay, I, I had to stop for just a second. Good, Good morning, Aunt D. Good morning, Dottie. That's Aunt D. Aunt D, okay. I have a cousin named Dottie, too, so I was like, oh, that's Dottie. Okay, but mm -hmm. Aunt D, okay. Yes, that's the beautiful Aunt D. That's, that's the diva yeah. right there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the diva. But guys, make yes, sure Lord. that you get unstuck in your finances by recognizing the fact that you don't know everything that you don't know. Take the opportunity to recognize where you are so you can stop the bleeding in your finances. Come out of this poverty cycle. cycle. Because it's time out for us, y'all. At the end of the day, not being able to do what it is that we want to do. Not being able to travel like we want to travel. Not being able to spend time with your family like you want to spend time with your family. Now, some of us, will fake and flaunt and, you know, we'll make that thing happen with the credit card debt, right? We'll make that thing happen and look like we got it going on. And then once we get back to the house, we over there in the corner, balled up like a baby, crying somewhere because we're stressed and overwhelmed about the situation. Don't let that be you. And guys, I can talk about this freely because I've been through all of this before. Mm -hmm. I've been through all of this before. But I'm here standing before you today. That's why I can come out here and walk, get all hot and sweaty and not even care about it because I'm good today. <laughs> right? <laughs> Because I'm good today. I don't have to worry about I can go back to the house, take a shower, and do whatever I need to do. Why? Because it was a priority to make sure I was debt free. The only thing that we have still outstanding, y'all, is the house mortgage. Student loans gone. Cars. We own them. We have the titles in our safe. No credit card debt. And if we, we use the credit cards, by all means, we use the credit cards. Do not get rid of them. We keep them, but I only use one to two percent of it. Why do I use one to two percent of it? Because I'm gonna pay it off immediately. Pay it off immediately. Credit score is through the roof. I don't have to work. People calling me trying to give me money. I don't even need it for anything. They're just trying to hand it to me. Why? Because I made decisions intentionally to change the cycle for me and for my family. I was intentional in prioritizing the goals that I have for me and my family. And I want that for you too. I want that for you too. That's right, Sean. Everybody can have it if they choose. So you gotta prioritize the things for you and your family. Prioritize that. And it's not something that somebody else told me about, y'all. This is our life. You see us right here live. Okay? You see us here live. So, guys, go ahead and do what you need to do. Stop the bleed. It's a rescue 911. These are the essentials, right, that you need for your finances. Because we're called to build generational wealth and leave a legacy. But many of us, we're not leaving generational wealth. We're trying to go get GoFundMe accounts to get stuff done. Hello, somebody. And it's so crazy, y'all. The other day, my husband, he said, can you believe he went to the tool shop to get something? Because he's always working on something in the garage. Went to the tool shop to get something. He said, can you believe that the same lady who came to us three years ago at the mall in Stonecrest met me at the tool shop talking about her family, sharing the same story. Her family got burned out of their house. And can you give us some money to donate so she can get some gas in her car? Meanwhile, she riding around in an Escalade on 22s asking people to get her money. Oh. It's a shame and a scandal. 
guys, we got to do better. Not saying that's everybody's situation because everybody's not doing that. But you got to figure out, y'all, where your bleed is. Where's the bleed in your finances? Once you figure out where that bleed is, then you can stop it. But you got to be intentional with that thing. Know that you have not tried everything. Because there are so many different opportunities out there for us that we got to take advantage of. Now, for those of you who have stopped the bleeding, your finances, you say, Lynn, I've already done that. I have my budget. I'm doing good. I don't have those fees. But I, I just don't know where to get started with my investing. I got you there, too. I have a class that's starting up tonight at 8 o'clock. And basically, guys, it teaches you what are the things you need to be looking for, right? What are the look-fors? What are the pieces of information that I need to analyze in order to make a better decision in the things that I'm investing in? See, I teach about investing in the stock market, but then once you become a more savvy investor, there are other things you can invest in too, from tax liens to real estate, you name it, guys, there's so many different opportunities, but if you have not tried everything, that's the point. You haven't tried everything. All right, guys, I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yes, I said it, America's number one. You will, too. And I appreciate you for your time this morning. Make sure if you have any questions, schedule some time to get on my calendar so we can talk. B-I-T-L-Y slash talk to Lynn. All right, Jojo. Over to you. And that's a that's a capital L in um yes. in the in the thing. So when you guys type it in, make sure you put a capital L for Lynn in there. So uh, you can get that information. So uh and thank you, Miss Honey. Yeah, we like to share that's what we call it, confessions and conversations. Mm -hmm. How to live past crazy in your life and your finances because we don't want y'all to be living like we living. Right. Or that we, the way we did. did. You don't have to live in that crazy. Any more. You do not have to do that. Period. All right, guys. So today's fearless topic. Um, I don't, well, I don't think, I think I've shared a little bit that this year has been a year of getting over fears. There's also been a year of letting go of things. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. So today, this is Thankful Thursday. So this is what I want you guys to do on this Thankful Thursday. And, and I wrote this out from some thoughts I had. I want you to release all your outdated and negative thoughts and beliefs huh. that do not support or nourish you. Let go of your negatives so you can embrace your blessings. All mm. of that, guys, takes action. So I want you to release any outdated Neg and negative thoughts, ideas, and beliefs that do not support you or nourish you. So when you think about that, think about it in terms of the crazy that you're living in right now. <laughs> and here's the thing. Some people think they have their crazy under control. <laughs> you don't have your crazy under control. You, But my crazy is at a minimum. No, it's oozing out of your ears and out the side and all around you and it's causing other people to be crazy. You just think it's thing you never have a hand a better handle on your crazy than you think you do. You don't right. until you start to address it and handle it and let go of some, the negative thoughts and beliefs and ideas that are serving you because right. that's what got us in the crazy in the first place. Can we be real about that for a second? Okay. <laughs> our negative thoughts, ideas, and beliefs is what got us in crazy in our finances and our life, period. Because, oh, and here's the thinking sometimes, oh, well, I, I'll just deal with it later because it's not a big problem right now. Right. It is, if it's a problem, it doesn't matter if it's big or little, it takes up space. And eventually it's going to become part of your life. Mm -hmm. And so, again, you are changing your whole life. To adapt. To remember that, that remember that story I told y'all a couple of months ago about the thorn or the broken leg. 
And instead of you going to the doctor to get your broken leg fixed, you rearrange your house to accommodate the broken leg. You will rearrange your car for the broken leg. You will rearrange right. your job for the broken leg. You rearrange your shower. You do everything to accommodate right. the broken leg because you don't want to address the broken leg. Mm. So if you don't want to address that thorn, if you don't want to address a crazy, take a look at your life. What have you adjusted in your life to accommodate for that crazy? I'm just saying. Yep. Because sometimes you had to sit down, Lynn. <laughs> I, I decided to because I had to sit down for a second, y'all, because these people have full-blown hiking gear out here. Like, they are in the mountains for real, for real, y'all. I had to sit down for a minute so I didn't bust out laughing and trip on myself because I know I was Don't old. do that. <laughs> Kimberly, okay. I understand. Okay. And we, we got to let go of the stuff in our past. And let me tell you something. I am queen of, I was queen of holding on to things of my past. Like, oh, he did me wrong. He hurt me. I was queen of holding on to that. But when I decided, to, she said the meds ain't working. I'm praying for you, Kimberly. <laughs> you Kimberly, need a new doctor. She need a new doctor. His name is Dr. Jesus. But okay. Yeah. She said OCD. Yeah, I can right. only imagine. OCD. And you know what? Here's the thing. I, yeah. I, this is my unlicensed professional opinion. I'm not a counselor. I'm not a professional. I fail psychology. Let's all be clear of my parameters here. Come on but now, JoJo. Yeah, go ahead, take it in summer school. Listen, and they felt sorry for me. Listen. Not I developed. <laughs> listen, he, they felt sorry for me and passed it. That's all I can say. So OCD to me is a way of coping with other things. I firmly believe I developed OCD when I was with my abuser. I would count the ceiling tiles. I would roll the lint under my fingers. I would do anything to keep my mind occupied on other things other than what he was saying to me. And to me, that was a coping mechanism yeah. so that I did not pay attention to the crazy that was in front of me. Now, I, when I got rid of the crazy, when I left my abuser and it was no longer trying to inundate my mind, my spirit, and my soul... Mm -hmm. My OCD went away. The things that I used to focus on, I didn't have to focus on anymore because there was no need to because it wasn't keeping me from something. Does that make sense? Yes. I, because I was with my abuser, I didn't want to, I didn't want to believe what he said when you ugly, stupid, fat, you know, I didn't want to believe any of that. So I would look at the ceiling tiles. I would roll the lint. I would count by 13s. I would do all of that because I needed that distraction. So what is it distracting you from, uh, Kimberly? And you know what, Kim? I ain't even picking on you. What is it distracting you from? That's right, Tashana. Hey, thank you, Tashana. Let go. Release those outdated and negative thoughts, ideas, and beliefs that do not support and nourish you. And I know sometimes it's easier said than done, but I promise if you let go of one today, you are able to let go of another one tomorrow and right. one the next day. And here's the thing, once you get good at it, as soon as you have a trigger and it comes up, like I had a trigger come up this week that put me back at square one and I instantly recognized my, tr my trigger and I was like, oh, hold on, let me correct that. And that's where the power of the thought comes in. Yes, it's a defense maker then. So thank you to Shana. That's what I was going to say. And as soon as I recognized what it was, I changed my thought process and let it go. You got to. You got to let go of the negative so you can embrace your blessing. If you don't, guess what's going to happen, y'all? If you don't let go of that negative, you're going to continue to live in crazy. It will become your best friend. You will accommodate your entire life to encompass all of your crazy <laughs> because you feel like you cannot leave it alone. So on this thankful Thursday, I want you to release any outdated and negative thoughts, ideas, and beliefs that do not support you or nourish you. Let it go. Let go of the negative so that you can embrace your blessings because a lot of times 
we are in all of this thanks action we are praying jesus lord help me get me out this situation oh father god you know we get all dramatic we fall on our knees and we wall around oh lord save me father god take me out this situation <laughs> and jesus is simply saying get up and go right. ain't not stopping you from moving but you insist on being here to continue in it and, and to continue crazy. to tell me about your problem when I've given you the answer already. All of this is going to require an action on your part. Right, Charlene? I had to recognize for what it really was. And when you recognize that, life gets a, a lot easier. Faith without works is dead. And you got to work this thing. So as you're releasing, you're going to find that you're going to have more room to receive the blessing that you've been begging for, the solution you've been begging for, the right. answer you've been looking for. Because let me, it, it require, it's all going to require you doing something. Whether right. you, it's not going to happen by osmosis. I love you watching the Fearless Morning Show every morning. I'm so thankful that you're here. But please understand, as soon as you get off this phone, this computer, this whatever you're listening to, your motivation is going to go with us. We're going to carry it for you for the rest of the day because you're going to give it to us because you're not going to pick it up and carry it yourself. It's going to require some action. So release it, y'all, on this thankful Thursday. Release anything that is not nourishing or supporting you. And it may, and it, even if it's your thoughts and your ideas, it also may be a person. Yeah. When I say that's easier said than done, but after a while, when are you going to make you a priority? When are you going to get mad about what's going on in your situation in your life and when are you mm. going to do something about it? And how so long is that going to be your story, y'all? How long is that going to be your yeah. truth? How long is that? Yes. How long are you going to stay in that same situation? Yep. It's on you. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> I want you to think about this. Some of us like telling the same story because we like the result and the outcome that we get from telling the story. Oh, woe is me. I, I'm yep. a domestic violence victim. Oh, he hurt me. And as long as I hold on to that story, the result of it is people going to feel sorry for me. They're going to give right. me, I don't want that. So when I, when I let go of my story and told it from a different way, then the result is different. But some people like the result yeah. that they get. They like telling people they broke. They like telling people they stressed because they get their attention from telling the story. So why, why are you really telling your story? What are you getting from it? What is the mm. result that you are getting from your story? And is it serving you? Or is it helping, keeping you hostage to your crazy? I tell you this. I posted this yesterday. If y'all don't believe me, go back and check my page. Why is it that people will stay in known hells rather than move to unknown heavens? Why do you mm. want to stay in that situation that you're currently in versus going to something better, Right. And guys, it starts in your mind. It starts in yes. the mind. It starts in so the what mind. Are you and not, it starts board. in the mind. I'm going to cut that car really fast. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I, yeah. you, pray yes, for those, you pray for those kids every day when they pull into that parking lot. Girl, Donna, I be like, Father, God, <laughs> Jesus, bless them. <laughs> yes, to Shana, it is a victim mentality. And that's why, as the only live past crazy specials, I help y'all change that victim mentality to survivor, to overcomer, because we can't stay in survival mode forever. Because it, it's not, that's not where it is either. We've right. got to overcome all of that we got to change every bit of that and fear will keep you there and fear, remember let me tell yes. you, either, you either gonna be in this and besides to shana help cussing me out and telling me if i didn't run out the door she was gonna call 911 <laughs> and and beat me <sighs> and him at the same time but i was standing at that door on the phone with to shana crying Lord, I don't know what to do. And she's steady talking in my ear. And I realized two things as she's screaming, get out the door. Fear is either going to make you stand still and deal with that crazy, or fear is going to make you get up and move and get outside of your crazy. That's just, which one is it going to make you do? Is it you going to stay there and dwell and wall in that crazy, or you going to get on out and handle your business? Yeah. Now, I will never lie and tell you that the road will be easy. It will not. However, if you have some guided steps of what to do, this is your next best thing. This is the next thing to do. 
it can will I, be easy. Can I say this? That I what? did not know that this was the Tashana that was with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tashana, okay. I did not know this was the same one that was with you, even though you probably yes. said it before, but I said, oh, there could be several of those on the on Facebook. But that's the real that's the real Tashana that was there. This is the real Tashana for if y'all ever read book one uh, and book two. This is the Tashana that was read that said. And I'm not going to say what she said. But she said, I wish a brother would come up in my house. Because he's going to get shot up in here. I got something for him. Tashana oh, wow, okay. was the one that was ready to blow up everything. And their grandma. She wouldn't. Tashana was not playing. And you need a friend like that. They Absolutely. ain't playing, honey. They got your back 10,000%. That right. is for sure. Let me see what Charlene said. False yeah. evidence appearing real. real. That's right, Charlene. So we got to either we're going to be scared and our crazy or we're going to leave and learn to live outside our crazy. And I promise you with everything in me that there is life outside of crazy. All right, guys, we've got to get out of here. Thank you so much for joining the Fearless Morning Show. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel. We are, I load our videos every day. I think we like um, 164 strong. Wow. So we got a whole lot of seasons over there. So in TV land, that's a lot. So <laughs> y'all go on over there and binge watch. I'm trying to find the link. I know I got it right here somewhere. Y'all go over and binge watch the Fearless Morning Show and share it with your friends and family. So if you know anybody who needs yeah. to live past crazy, you have them come over and check out. Check us out. You know, Tashana, she Tashana was not playing and she still is not playing. Don't test her now. Please don't do that. Um, but guys, <laughs> make sure you share this video. And I posted a poll. I don't know if the poll went through yesterday. But I posted a poll on the Phyllis Morning Show page for you guys to vote. Oh, did it? Yeah. For you to vote um, about where you want us to have our one-year anniversary. And on that poll, I could only do two cities. So if you have more ideas of where you want us to come and celebrate our one-year anniversary, because I listed Charlotte and Atlanta, and that's both quickly accessible to uh, for me and Lynn. So, um, but if you want us to come to your city to celebrate our one-year anniversary, let us know. And the mo the city with the most votes wins. So go over to the Fearless Morning Show, and um, so we can come hang out with y'all this yes. Sunday. If it's not raining, I'm riding roller coasters, dog. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Charlene. I say I'm ready to that ride till they strap me in. Oh, Raleigh. Okay, Tashana, go. Will you put that on the Fearless on the page on the Fearless Morning Show page after the show? Um, I got well. We're at Raleigh. We got Charlotte, and we got Atlanta. So the city with the most votes is where we will come and um, do our one year anniversary. And um, I think we may be taking a Phyllis Morning Show on the road some next year. We got to work on our schedule, our planning for next year, so that we can see where we are going for the next year so all right anything else then before i close out this morning no guys i think that's it uh we'll see charlene if you can join us um that will be great because i know i gotta have some you know you're gonna be rolling with me over here yeah. over there and just about <laughs> everywhere right uh when we get through this with jojo but uh yeah jojo you were challenged on uh, uh. doing something bigger than just a yes, uh, yeah. Well, listen, I'm gonna let's work our way up to that. Tell Robbie Demons, leave me alone. He's not fixing to bully me, and he's not here. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about him. He'll be at a car show, so that's that's good. Oh, um, uh, okay. But yeah, but if he were, well, it'll be I, I, on. I'm you know, excited. it'll be on. <laughs> it's All right, guys, yeah, it's gonna be on. Morning. That is right. So, guys, make sure you come out Sunday. Um, okay. Lynn, you I let me see if I can type it in for Lynn. Which one which one do you need, Miss Hunter? I, Will you just type um, in can... both B I T dot L Y slash talk to Lynn and B I T dot L Y slash investing. Like, hold on. You asking a whole lot, Lynn, and I'm okay, trying to do this okay. one <laughs> Listen, okay. Talk. Charlene says she gonna try. Okay, well do your best, Charlene. We'll understand. Because y'all know, y'all Charlie, let, let me let me give you some stipulations first of all. <laughs> what we not fixing to do, and I can't even see y'all, but uh, what we not said, don't forget your depends. 
<laughs> to Shana. What you supposed to be my friend? Where, where's that at? <sighs> you sound like you know. That's what my mama said yesterday. Don't <laughs> I'm gonna bring you some depends. Whatever. Okay. And what was the other one, Lynn? Bit.ly slash investing. <gasps> Sorry, y'all. But uh, did a dog come up close to there. you? It was a. I. I just um. Yeah. Just came out okay. of nowhere, walking beside me with his little self. All right, let me move because I don't like um, being too close to animals that I don't know very well. <laughs> You don't oh, like animals at all, I man. do. I love to dissect them. I have no problem doing that whatsoever. <laughs> Again, they're dead, so that don't count. Oh, I learned. I love learning about them. You know, I'm uh, yeah. okay. I think I got it. <laughs> Investing blueprint. All right. All right, Miss Hunter, I think I got you. But Lynn will post it as soon as she gets. She'll post the link if I spelled it wrong. Um, she'll post it again when she gets to the call. All right, guys, uh, don't forget. Let me put in the Be Fearless website um, so that you guys can make sure that you join us and stay up to date. Sign up for our newsletter yes. and stay up to date with what we got going on. Uh, and it is BAFearless.com. So make sure you guys join us for that. Um, all right, guys. I hope you have. Oh Lord, it's eight oh six. I hope you have an amazing day. <laughs> have a thankful Thursday. I got to get. Yeah, we got to keep this show to seven forty five. Okay. The girl is going to be late for work, and I'm up here chit chatting. All right, guys. Have a great Thursday. <clears throat> Please today release those outdated thoughts and negative thoughts and feelings and ideas that no longer nourish or serve you or support you. If you need a personal cheerleader, contact me and let me know. I will have um, a blueprint class starting after um, mine is in like two weeks, but you'll see more information about that. And mine is how to develop your own blueprint on how to live past crazy, that step-by-step -step guide that you need. But Sunday, I will be at Six Flags. Come on and watch me ride the roller coaster. If you want to ride the roller coaster with me, I need somebody to hold my hand. So um, come on out Sunday. I think we're going to try to do it mid-morning. Either way, I'm going to be ready. And don't nobody come out there trying to force me on no big roller coaster. We have already said I'm one step above that kitty roller coaster. I might do too, but we going to see. So, okay. all right, guys. I Good hope morning. you have an amazing Thursday. Please release those negative thoughts, ideas, and beliefs that are no longer serving or supporting you, even if that is a person today. Right. Even if that is a person. So mm. if you need a personal cheerleader, let me know, and I'll be your personal cheerleader for you. All right, guys. Have an amazing Thursday. We'll see you here bright and early tomorrow morning at 7.15. Have a good one. Sign it off.